Oh, the things that run around in my head sometimes. So this, uh, this video was inspired by Cody because of that question he had. So we're gonna talk about Home Advisor and my experiences with Home Advisor. And I just want you guys to know this stuff so don't get yourself down this, uh, this rabbit hole because I want you guys to be smarter and better than me because I want to grow with you guys. And I feel like if we all grow together, we'll all succeed better. You know, that's how I look at it. Ah, so Home Advisor. Well, let me just tell you with Home Advisor, I was super pumped to get on their platform, right? I just saw, oh, I was like, we're gonna get on this platform, we're gonna make all this money, and it's gonna be great, and we're gonna have basically our own salespeople. And it really wasn't the case. Now, it might have changed. This was years ago. I wanna say about five years ago, four or five years ago. And I, I started to find out that Home Advisor. Angie's List was a big one. I think Angie's List already changed their name again. And there's, I think there's reasons that they do that because they're bankrupting a company or they, you know, there's some political thing going on there. But with the Home Advisor, when I got on there, it seemed like it was pretty easy, right? It's always easy to give your money to them, right? They always take your credit card, they're so friendly and everything happens. And I don't even remember if we interacted with somebody, if we had a really a salesperson, you know, and the worst part is it's like they, it feels like you never get a direct person that you can call and say, hey, I got a problem or I need, I got questions. It's like you always just get some random, uh, you know, cue that you go through and push a number and it's just some random person and they got questions. And it feels always after you do it, you don't get the great like service, right? You're kind of a nuisance. So I started finding out, and, and like I said, if you guys have had experience of this, you know, comment below if I'm crazy or, or what your thoughts are. So when we started doing it, I started realizing that I think it was, we might have had like an initial fee roughly a month and then they would charge you per lead. So at first you're kind of like, oh, that's sweet, you know, because if I only get charged per whatever calls me, you know, that's awesome. So some days are, you know, real busy, some are slow, you know, I'm only getting, I'm not getting charged just a lot of money. Well, the problem was is that these phone calls would come in and it was like, they were top priority. So we had to take them. So we took them and then it was like, I don't know how this happened or why this happened, but I swear this, this thing would get branched out to like three other companies. And so I started finding this common trend that when the customer would interact with Home Advisor, it was like they, they didn't do it intentionally, but they were putting out a broadcast, almost like going on maybe like Facebook and saying, hey, I need service who will do it the cheapest or who will come and do it, right? And just show up at your will. That was almost like what they were doing and they didn't know that. So it was like you would call them and you're like, hey, I could be out there, right? Well, you get some people, some customers that, come on, you guys all got an uncle, right? I mean, you know, or a mom maybe or a grandma, somebody in your family that's a little, you know, let's just say, you know, I'm just saying, we love them, right? But we can't change it, right? They're our uncle, they're our family, they're whoever, they're our aunt. We can't change it, right? But they're just a little, little different than us. And they're, they're normally kind of the fun ones, honestly. <laughs> and we love them, right? We love them. And so I would, uh, they don't know the business behind the scenes. So I remember I showed up to some of these jobs and it was like one time that my competition was in the driveway and I'm like, what in the heck is going on? So I remember I'd call the customer, I went down the road because I was being courteous. I thought, I'm not just gonna come barging in there. What are you doing here? Hmm. You know what I mean? Or who's this guy? Oh, he says he'll do it for 60. I'll do it for 50. What do you got to say about what? No, I'll do it for 40. You know, I don't, I'm not playing that game. You know what I mean? So. I'd go down the road and I call them. They say, well, yeah, this other guy already showed up and he already gave me a price and he, or he's already starting to work on it. So I started learning that somehow this thing's being broadcast out. And it's like, you know, if you think about it in home advisors, uh, defense, it works great for them, right? Because if they get that phone call out to three different contractors in one aspect, they can almost sell it to the customer as like, Oh, we're going to find you somebody. Right. But 
And they also get to charge those three contractors, right? Because they both took the phone call, they answered or, you know, whatever. It was just, you didn't make a good enough sale. You know, you didn't uh, disclose it to the customer that you would be the cheapest, the fastest or whatever. So it started becoming this like tug of war. And it was just ridiculous because I remember as soon as we get the phone call or we we'd get like a work order and, oh, that's what it was. It was coming through the computer system and we get this work order. I mean, I would literally, as soon as I got that work order, I would drive right to the customer and I would be calling on the way there, right? And if they didn't answer, I'd just show up. And I was like, hello, hello, I'm here to work on. And they're like, oh geez, yeah, well, you know, and it was like the system was glitchy because sometimes they say, I, I'd always ask them, i go, well, how long did you ask for this request? Well, I did it a day ago and nobody called me back. Well, that's weird because I only got it, you know, on my, I know on your email it shows you, like, you know, this thing was sent 20 minutes ago. But I literally was getting to the point where I'd have to run out there just to try to get the job because on the worst end of it, um, I forget how it worked, but I feel like they almost got a percentage off of something or they were at least going to charge me, right? And I wanted the job. So it was like, I'd go out there and it was, just, you, you know, you're, you're, it, it was just a horrible system. I, I absolutely, and I thought, you know, this is really disrespectful almost for the customer. It's a disservice because anybody, it, 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 as long as you give a uh, home advisor money, <sighs> far as I know or understood it, home advisor don't do no background checks. They don't ask, you know what I mean? It's like, it's that whole thing of like, uh, I, was, I was telling the wife the other day, I said it's that whole thing where you, there, there might be people out there that are licensed contractors, but doesn't mean they do good work. Doesn't mean it. And I said, you know, if the free market worked the way it should, we have so much technology nowadays, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is. I don't know. There's so many things, Google reviews that you can do your own homework. If you're an educated person and you just go online and do your own homework and go, Hey, or check with their last customer that they did a home build, whatever it is, a garage door and ask them how they like the service. Right? I mean, it's, it's not that hard, but home advisor was just like, basically, if you give them a paycheck, you know, you give them money, we put you on the platform and away you go, buddy. You're just going to be, but the problem was, is you're, you're fighting your competition. It wasn't like they they send it to you and go, you have you know 20 minutes to reply, and if you don't reply, it's going to get sent to somebody else or a food chain. I'm sure if you paid more money, they'd even put you higher in the ranks or something. I mean, it's all just this, and I just didn't think that was fair to the customer. It wasn't fair to us because, like I said, I walked up to some of these. They already got the job done, and it was like I didn't even get the message till you know 20 minutes, and it's like I ran out here, and they're like, oh, I already got it fixed yesterday. And I'm thinking, you know, so you're not in control. So I. I totally disregarded doing Home Advisor, and I, I think Angie's list is right up there. They got great marketing, you know, that's what they're doing. I mean, if you're probably a guy that's like just starting out and got like absolutely nobody and, and you work for the bottom of the pit, you know, type of thing, it might be for you. And I'm not, and I'm not trying to criticize or bash anybody that does it because you just might know how to play the system better than I did. It just, it, did, it was not a good fit for us. so. That's my little two cents on the home advisor. I do not recommend it. I think working for Lowe's was better at the time, but Lowe's has changed and Lowe's is, I would not recommend anymore because it's, it's changed how their structure is. So, you know, some of the stuff is only as good as the people behind it. So unfortunately that's the world we're living into and it just turns into to bean counters and corporate greed is what a lot of it is. And that, it's sad because we're losing a lot of uh, uh, good owners uh, small mom and pop places that, that really cared for the customer that wanted to take care of the customer that believed in their customers versus now it's just how many pennies can I pinch out of you? So anyways, if you made it this far, please hit that like button because it helps spread the word across. And if you don't mind, share across some of your platforms if you like, and then also be a subscriber. It doesn't cost anything. It's just a click of the button. It's not that hard. You can do it. I know you can come on. All right. Guys and girls, have a great day. We'll talk to you later and see you.